Volusia County, two 15-year-old boys are accused of adding to their already lengthy rap sheets. Deputies say the teens got into a fight with a man, shot him, and then stole his car. We broke this story for you last night at 10. Fox 35's Holly Bristow joins us live tonight. So Holly, the sheriff, had some pretty strong words about this case. He certainly did. He said these suspects are only 15 years old, and this is the third time that each of them has been accused of an extremely violent crime. I don't know what more we need before people get their head out of their and realize to stop treating these little gun-toting thugs like their, their, their poor little Johnny had a hard upbringing. Seven days into the new year, Sheriff Chitwood says things haven't changed. Somebody's right there. Light him up, light him up, light him up. This deputy's body camera showing the moment her canine partner tracks down a 15-year-old suspect. Show me your hands. I mean, our response time last night was unbelievable. We were there within a minute or two of the shooting occurred. We set up a perimeter. We arrest the first 15 year old who's hiding in the backyard. He had ran out of his sneakers. Sheriff Chitwood says 15 year old Darren Brown was with 15 year old Mikkel DeBose when a drug deal went bad. DeBose shot a 19 year old twice in the face. He and Brown stole the man's car, ran him over and took off, according to the sheriff. You put a gun to the face, to the head of another human being and pull the trigger twice. Following on the heels that you were just got out of a program for committing a home invasion robbery, an armed home invasion robbery. Following on the heels that at 12 years old you broke into an occupied apartment and when confronted by the woman who was living in there, you shoved her to the ground. W what's next? He says Brown's criminal history isn't any better. He and DeBose just got out of a program in October for the home invasion they committed together. Both are still on probation. And Sheriff says in 2019, Brown robbed another teen at knife point for his shoes. With two violent crimes apiece in their past, Sheriff Chitwood says their last detention should have been in juvenile jail, not unsecured detention. These penalties aren't tough enough and kids are not learning. We're picking up right where we left off in 2020. What do you expect? What do you think you're going to get the rest of your life, their life? if they realize there are no consequences. And the sheriff says that there is a new secretary in charge of the Department of Juvenile Justice. He's already met with him a couple days ago, and he says that he has made it very clear that things need to change, and when teens get charged in crimes involving guns, they need to go to jail. For now, reporting live in Volusia County, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News.